Hey everyone, it's Benji Buck here, and welcome back to another episode of Wild Season. We are just about to uh, go to sleep for the next day here. Okay, and we are on to the next day. Oh, looks like something's happening. There's a knock at the door. You better get it. Well, duh. Oh, she just walked right in. <laughs> oh, hello, dear. I didn't wake you, did I? Um, well, what are you doing here? So sorry to just walk in like this. My husband and I have keys to every home in town, just in case there's an emergency. Um, that is illegal. <laughs> in small towns, you have to look out for one another. It's different from the city. Anyway, I brought you breakfast. Please sit. Um, okay. She hates me. Why is she doing this? There's gotta be a reason. I was making these this morning for my family, and I thought, that poor boy waking up to this rundown place all alone in a strange town, not know, uh, knowing not a soul, not even knowing how to farm. Wow. Hew. <laughs> yeah. I felt so terrible that I couldn't help but come over and take care of you. Mm hmm. Sure. I was thinking about your predicament on the way over, and I realized that what what you remind me of. Those poor strangers who gather what little they have to move to a new land that promises them freedom and riches. But when they arrive, they might as well have not left at all. Well, with being shunned like that. And even if they did want to go back, the little they gathered is now gone and they are forced to live out their days in a place they don't feel they belong. Seems like she's uh, trying to say something. People haven't exactly been kind since you arrived, have they, Benji? I'm not sure if you're being nice right now. I'm... yeah, I'm gonna say that. Oh, I am being nice. Very nice. Um, yeah, you shouldn't have to say that. Um, yeah, no. As I said before, people in small towns look out for one another. They become nervous when someone new arrives. They feel that a new person might upset the natural order of things. Now, you and I were cultured. We're cultured. We understand that people move all the time. The people of Bedford, though, why, they're even having trouble accepting the new doctor, and he's needed here. What I'm saying is it's hard to live in this town, especially when you have little to no idea of how to run a farm on top of it all. I mean, look at it out there. It's a disaster. It'll take days alone just to clear out enough room for some crops and animals. It's so much harder than you think. I'd like to help you get back the little you gathered to move here, Benji. I'd like to purchase a farm. Um, hmm. She wants to get rid of me. No, duh. Didn't you just call it a disaster? What if I don't want to sell it? Or really? Um, what if I don't want to sell it? Did I not just explain why you would? You're out of your element, Benji. Did you truly move here to wrestle with this mess? Uh, yeah, actually, I totally did. I knew when I bought this game. This is what I was getting into. Except not the crappy town. Um, no, you wanted a new start. A new start I'm willing to give you. So the mayor's office can write you a check as early as tomorrow morning. And once you pack and sign some paperwork, you can be on your way. Oh, and you'll need another car, right? I'm certain that I can arrange for a new one. After all, it was our poorly maintained road that stranded you here in the first place. So Benji, do you accept my offer? This must be part of, of what Denise warned you about last night. Heck no, but I'm going to eat these pancakes. Uh, so <laughs> the first time I pl uh, played, or second time... I, I had to restart a couple times. I picked, you know what, fine. It actually ends the game. So you sell the farm, you move away. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Um, I'm not selling the farm, Ros Rosalind. Or, no, I can't. I'm going to do that. You can't, dear? You can't? Dear, I have given you every reason why you should and every resource to do so. Surely you're not that dense. After all, other than getting yourself wrapped up in this farm, you seem like a logical person who makes smart decisions for yourself. 
but I'm sorry, I got ahead of myself. I tend to do that when I'm looking for, looking after other people's best interests. Yeah, right. Bombarding you probably wasn't the best tactic. And here I was, thinking I was so good with people. We'll see how you feel once you really settle in. Welcome to the new land, Benji. Wow, it's, it sounds like, yeah, welcome to, yeah, no. Um, when you do realize you're a stranger here, and you will, I may be nice enough to buy the farm. Get out of my house, woman. Enjoy your pancakes. I will. I will eat them all. Might as well do what she says. Yeah. Actually, I'm going to sell them for money. I wonder if I can get money for them. I'm going to sell them. Yeah. I'm totally going to do that. Man, she's a total jerk. Well, okay, whatever. Let's, uh... I think I got a... Yeah, I have no clue what to do next. Because I can't clear it anymore. I'll just water my crops. Oh, hello. Someone else. <laughs> hello. Why is she holding a bouquet of flowers? I'm Jessica. We met a few days ago, remember? At the general store? Anyway, here, I brought you flowers. Huh, usually it's the opposite way. <laughs> you received a bouquet of blue flowers. Um... Did you grow these yourself? Oh no, definitely not. I don't have anything close to a green thumb. Today is actually bouquet day. It's a holiday here in the district. We're supposed to like honor nature or something by giving families bouquets or whatever. It's totally weird, I know. But that's Bedford's Valley, or that's Bedford Valley for you. Don't worry about it this year. You just moved in it, so ev everyone will understand. Lily at the flower shop sells them though, so remember next year, okay? <laughs> I totally tried, but she was not at her till the whole day pretty much. Anyway, I know this is sudden and you're unpacking and all. But I can show you around town if you want. Uh, I know the mayor already took you some places, but no offense, he probably showed you all the boring stuff. <laughs> yeah, totally true. So how about it? Wanna go? Uh, sure, sure, why not? I really should keep unpacking. I'd go anywhere with you. Um, let's go, sure, why not? Yeah, boy. That's what I, yeah, boy. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. So, um, I'm not sure exactly how the whole, like, bachelorette thing works in this. I think there's six girls that you could marry. Um, she's one of them. Uh, but I haven't, uh, I mean, I... I don't know how the dating system in this game works, so we'll have to just see as it goes. You, you decide to go into town with Jessica. <laughs> so is this like a date? Or <laughs> so I'm sure the mayor already took you around here, but it's seriously one of my favorite spots in town. It's kind of where every, everything happens around here. Like, New Year's, what you miss, but whatever. You come here to say Happy New Year to everyone and tell them why you're thankful for them and stuff. Oh, and you give and get all sorts of food and honey in it. Like, so good, seriously. <laughs> all the honey comes from the host farm, and it's to die for. Our family sells it all at a, at a stall. It's pretty great. Oh, and we have the Harvest Festival in fall here too. It's a three-day thing to celebrate, like a good harvest and stuff. <laughs> the first day is spent on the Holes Farm, but everything else is here. On the second day, called the Day of Preparation, all the kids put on this cute little play. It's the same one every year, but one of them always messes it up. Oh, on the last day, the best day really, it's all an all-out festival with dancing and every Everyone makes this harvest soup stuff that's different at each stall, but it's all so good. Oh, she's so intense. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, like, talking a lot, aren't I? Um, can we go somewhere else? It's a lot to take in, is all. No worries. No worries. No, really. If I talk too much, let me know. I'm a big girl. I can handle it. I promise. Um. No. Really, if I talk too much, let me know. I'm a big girl. I can handle it. Promise. Oh, 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 I know. Come on, follow me. I'll show you the port. <laughs> She's 
she is a pretty excitable one, that's for sure. <laughs> so, this is the port. It's not all that unique or anything, but it's a nice place to just take in the breeze and relax. Not that nothing even ever happens here. I mean, Frank's shipping businesses run out of here, and while Bedford's not some major trading hub, we do get our sh share of sailors. They usually stay at the Cat with the Fiddle Inn overnight. We should really hit them up after hours sometime. There's, their food's, well, not that great, but you can eat it. Mary honestly doesn't know her left from her right and pretty much endangers everyone. <laughs> and Rick, well, he's Rick. <laughs> but Alice, the other waitress, is pretty good, and the Blackwoods are really a pretty sweet family. Barry, the owner, gets in some great microbrews, and probably you probably haven't tried anywhere yet else. <clears throat> Not that I know what a microbrew means or anything, that's just what Barry calls them. Oi! <coughs> you hear a voice off in the distance. Hello. <laughs> oh, Mr. Acosta. Ah, I see you've brought down your boy from college, little missy. Good for you. Boy from... Oh, um, I wasn't really dating anyone when I graduated. <clears throat> hint, hint. Actually, this is Benji. He bought the place right past Stefan's shop. The farm, remember? And Benji, this is Diego Acosta. He used to be a professional deep-sea fisherman, but he's retired now and lives here in town. And he should be wearing his dentures. <laughs> dentures? I ain't that old yet, am I? Anyway, my name is Diego Acosta. Yes, I'm the fisherman that fishes the fishes. <laughs> Maybe you should wear those dentures. <laughs> Don't I know you somewhere? Uh, nice to meet you. Um, sir, let's go with maybe you should wear those dentures or don't I know you somewhere. Uh, random. Oh, okay, I've got some wrong with that one. No, nope, need to be so formal. Call me Diego, yes? That is what I've been telling this little lady for years. <coughs> and my parents have been very clear about me calling you Mr. Acosta. <laughs> well, Mr. Acosta, it was pretty popular at... Well, Mr. Acosta, it was pretty popular, and you were pretty cute back then, so I'm not surprised. Uh, okay. <laughs> now listen here, Sonny. Don't let anybody in this town get you down, yes? You stick around nice folk like the little missy here, and you will fit right in. Okay? Okay. Uh, you are planning on staying, yes? Uh, if you'll have me. Of course I will. Here, wait a moment. I gotta get you something. Let me guess. He used to be a fisherman. <laughs> I'm gonna get a fishing rod. Glad all my t talking hasn't run you off yet. <clears throat> and he's back. <laughs> gimme, gimme. Here, Sonny, I want you to half this. I insist, okay? Okay. You received an old fishing rod, or an old rod. She's a bit rough, but she is perfect for you, yes. She won't catch you many fish, but she is perfectly good for new fishermen. So how's she feel? Um, it might take a while to get used to. Good, real good. Ha, <laughs> get it real. <laughs> might take a while to get used to. I'll give you fishing tips whenever you need them, yes? I taught you and Willie when you two were young, right little missy? You sure did, Mr. Acosta. Oh, here's some worms to get you started, yes? You'll need bait if you want to catch anything, okay? Okay. You received five worms. They're still alive. You. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Acosta. Anyway... Oh, duh, I haven't taken you to, like, the best part of town. It's totally worth the hike. Hike? To the beach? The beach? Oh, no. Though, we should totally go swimming there sometime. I'm talking about the plateau. It seriously has, like, the best view of town. Let's go. Oh, uh, oops. Goodbye, Mr. Acosta. Thank you. You kids have fun now, okay? Okay. Come on, Benji, let's go. So that was fun. <laughs> He's an interesting character. 
he followed Jessica down the beach and towards a precipice uh, overlooking the town. And we're just sitting here. This is totally a date. <laughs> I told you, it totally looks like a postcard, right? The town in the valley, the ocean, the mountain to the left, like that. I lived downtown, you know, in the city for school. And don't get me wrong, it was pretty cool. But there's something about Bedford that just makes me feel good, you know? I grew up here, though, so it's different. The two of you enjoy the scenery for a moment. Aww. Um, yes, okay. Uh, look, this is... This town is probably way weirder than the image you had in your head when you decided to buy the farm. But it has good people, really. If it's not too personal or whatever, why did you want to come here? Uh, I'd rather not talk about it. Honestly, I had nowhere else to go. It's a long story, believe me. I'll go with that. Boy, we're sitting on a plateau overlooking a town at 10 in the morning on a Thursday. Pretty sure we both got time. <laughs> but if... Now's not it. No worries, I'm cool. Jessica seems happy that you didn't push her away. <laughs> well, I'm seriously the worst. That's like the first, the worst first question to ask someone. Let me try again. What did you do before you came here? That's better, right? Uh, I was a gas station attendant. Oh, farming's an upgrade then, I see. <laughs> not that I can talk. I graduated college but all I'm doing is working at my family's general store if lame had a picture in the dictionary the picture would be me seriously <laughs> I graduated last fall in pre-law of all things I'm trying to get into law school but well no bites you know if things keep going this way I might need to borrow a new fishing rod at all right I could probably use it I'm probably sticking around for a while though in all honesty it's not all bad though as I said before, as I said, Bedford makes me, like, well, me. Thanks for coming out today, Benji. I hope I gave you at least a little better welcome than the mayor did. <laughs> a lot. And, uh, if you wanna, I'd love to do something again, you know, just the two of us or whatever. Oh, you feel a slight friendship beginning to form between you and Jessica. You have a feeling that if you start getting to know some people in town, you can form friendships with them, too. You know... If anyone else will give you the time of day, maybe you should try talking to them and giving them gifts that they enjoy. They'll open up to you. And who knows, maybe you'll find the person of your dreams here. Oh, a little excited there, hey? <laughs> talking, talking, talking. What are you doing, silly? Silly? What are you doing, silly? There he goes. Uh, are you spacing out? <laughs> Daydreaming. Well, come on, I'll get you home, okay? Well, that was fun. Tour thing achieved. <laughs> Thanks. Alright, so we did that. That took up like most of the day. We're gonna just water our plants. There's not really too much to do. We can go fishing though, actually. We'll probably go do that. Because I got five worms to use up. Um, the best place to fish with these worms is the ocean. Uh, so we will do that, although first, I want to put these in here. Oh, I wonder if I can sell that. Ooh, yes I can. Sorry Jessica, I need the money, <laughs> you know? <laughs> All right, oh, stamina went up, nice. <clears throat> so I am going to go fishing in the ocean, so I'm gonna need to go this way. And, um, yeah. Oh, whoops, wrong way. So we'll see how much fish I can get. So, <clears throat> I'll show you how it works. It's not too complicated. Um, you need to have worms or, um, the, their, their, to be able to fish. So we're just going to, we got the worms, so we're just going to go down here to a fishing spot. We have to find one. And, right here. And we'll just grab the fishing rod out. 